Some people are really fucking stupid. <laughs> Did you ever notice that? How many really stupid people you run into during the day? God damn, there's a lot of stupid bastards walking around. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, it's just like it has really been a motherfucking situation lately. And how do we deal with this shit? How do we deal with knowing that Joe Biden the Democrats last said? Let's go to Dave Lord of Patriarchy and um We know that, um, did he delete the video? Oh, he didn't delete the video, did he? Ah, there we go. Let's go. Let, let's go. So the Democrats may be waking up to the fact that they basically utterly failed, but this is the Guardian, so I'm not holding my breath. Now... This video was done on December the 30th, 2020. How did the Democrats fail? How did the Democrats fail? How did the Democrats fail? Democrat bar uh, battles for the party, soul of the party, as Biden wins mask alarming failures. Okay, Dave, let's see what his failures are. Um, you know, at least the failures that he can actually do is, you know, tell fucking time and time zones. But let's continue. The sense of relief de Democrats felt when Donald Trump's defeat in 2020 was not the same as a feeling of victory. The party's loss of congressional seats, they basically did lose the House. Failure to take control of state legislatures, not to mention... Wait, the Democrats didn't lose the House, they still have a majority. How did they lose the house? They have a majority. Let's look. House seats 2020. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, look at look at that. Fucking look at that. Mm. 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 That's, yeah, still a majority. 222 versus 211 is still a majority. What, they, they lost? They lost 10 seats, but they still have a majority? What the fuck? But let's continue, Dave. Let's continue. The U.S. Senate it indicated an alarming slippage for a party that thought it was growing as Trump was supposedly torching the Republican brand. No, if anything, you Democrats have gone so batshit insane that Trump has grown the Republican brand. Now, let's see if the Republicans are not stupid enough to fuck it all up. They probably... Hmm. Let's see something. 2020... Senate results. Mm, mm. So it's 50 50. But you know what? Florida, Florida is on my mind. Oh, 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 shit. Mm. The fuck, let's continue. <laughs> we are stupid enough to do that. But I think Trump has signaled a new wave of Republicans that are basically right-wing populists. And those type of things will win out every time. We'll get to that, motherfucker. We'll get to that. Sorry, eating some Boston baked beans. Yeah, he, he did signal a lot of shit. 
After the election, a fierce internal Democratic debate broke out with centrists arguing that slogans such as defund the police, Medicare for all have hurt the party with moderate voters and exposed candidates to wild accusations from Republicans equating universal health care with Pol Pot. I don't know if any Republican actually said that, but Pol Pot was a socialist dictator that killed millions. I know I'm just like pausing after like so many shit, but it's just like when you do the Gish Gallop, like conservatives are great for Gish Gallops. They hit you with so much lies and shit at one time. It's like you can't help but to pause. But let's 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 check this out. Check this out. Um, we have three hundred and fifty thousand Americans, which is climbing. That will actually say that Trump is well was well on his path being a dictator. And you know, the five people last week in Washington that died as a result of, you know, the president committing acts of sedition and insurrection, but you know, it's a fuck that, right? Progressive said that on the contrary, the party has not staked out its program on behalf of working people proudly enough. Uh, instead trying to play it safe behind the innocent or the inc whatever yeah, presidential candidate whose main pitch is return to normalcy. The problem is, is that once you tell people that Medicare for all will cause A, their private insurance to go away, B, it will lead to rationing of medical care, and C, it will cause taxes to go through the roof, support for it drops immediately. And Dave, those are lies. Those are fucking lies, Dave. You know why they're lies? Because here's the thing. What a lot of these people that hate Medicare for all actually try to say is, well, healthcare is going to be rationed. Why? Be they don't finish this thought because more people are going to get healthcare. They never finished that fucking thought. Secondly, I thought America was great. I thought it was the greatest country in the world. The greatest country in the world can't do what so many other Western countries, including fucking England. <laughs> is currently doing right now what what oh and taxes are gonna go through the roof i'm i'm paying a tax right now every fucking two weeks i'm paying 150 dollars for my health insurance i'm paying 150 dollars every two weeks for my health insurance one of my taxes is gonna go up what a hundred dollars why well, i have to pay the shit that i pay right now what what? No. Let's fucking continue. Everybody loved o Obamacare till they got the bill. The problem said AOC, first, there's your first mistake. Don't talk for her. Was the party lacked core competencies to reach voters with decisive rebuttals to wild charges from Republicans. David Axelrod, a political strategist, said the problem was the party needed to learn how not to talk down to working class voters, noting that Democrats dominated in and around big cities. Republicans won 80% of U.S. counties. The problem is, is that Democrats talk down to anyone who disagrees with them. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Republicans don't? I mean, like, I hate to do the two sides do everything, but like, you know what? Here's the thing. You're right, Dave. Democrats do talk down to people to try to teach them a lesson. Fucking right. I actually may be doing it now, and I'm not even a fucking Democrat. I'm more of a socialist. But uh, you know what the right does? They lie. But let's continue. Or thinks that they're all heartless monsters. Like, because I think it's about time to reopen everything before we get to a Great Depression. Fuck the lockdowns. Fuck the mask mandates. Everybody go back to normal and what happens, happens. Vaccine's on its way. Whoa, whoa, Dave, dog. Fuck. Not everyone... What's up, Ziggurat? Not every one of us can actually sit in our basement with incorrect clocks. Some of us actually have lives. Some of us can actually, actually have to meet people it's funny a lot of the people that say oh i don't want lockdowns and you shouldn't care about mass mandates a lot of these motherfuckers aren't interacting with the public you know what they're doing they're sitting back in their cushy office jobs where they don't have to even see the pores they don't have to go into any of the stores because they have other people shop for them or they're fortunate enough to have fucking you know postmates 
zip card peapod or whatever amazon fresh deliver their fucking food these are the people that say no we need to have shit open back up all right motherfucker you first you go out there with a mask first and the motherfucking conservatives that have actually gotten COVID 19 they're like oh shit oh shit oh shit this is fucking bad but let's continue I say that because I think a Great Depression will cause more death, more destruction. Kids need to go back to school. Otherwise, we're going to lose a generation, and a generation will not be educated properly. Wait. 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 Oh, shit. This is a new fl news flash. A generation is actually being educated properly now? Shit. Fuck. Hmm. Huh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Dave. Wait. Wait, Dave. You're telling me. A generation right now is being educated properly. Where half the motherfuckers don't know civil laws. Like, the fuck? Half, like, most of the teachers, most of the kids aren't taught critical thinking. But a generation is going to be taught properly. Shit. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. What are they, what, how are they being taught? how to sit in front of a desk in front of a computer screen and listen to shit and do things that they were told. I thought conservatives liked, I thought conservatives like people being doing, doing what they're told, not making a fuss sitting in front of a screen. The fuck that Dave, are, are you for, are, are you for people actually having more freedom? Where they don't sit behind the desk all the time? Welcome, my socialist. Oh, no, you're not. But I say the hell with that. Do it now, and whatever happens, happens. Because right now, the death rate is acceptable. These are acceptable losses. 350,000 people are acceptable losses? Dave, you first. You first, Dave. Fuck. You first. You go out there, get the virus first. But you're not going to do that, Dave. You only care about yourself. But let's continue. Hell, obesity's still killing more people than COVID. Um, if Democrats continue to cede 80% of the country, if they can't break through, they're kind of screwed, in my view, at least in the short run. They're going to be screwed in the long run. Gen Z is more conservative because it's considered rebellious to be for capitalism. Did he just say that shit? Did he say Gen Z is more conservative because it's rebellious to be for capitalism? Dave, Dave, dog, dog, no, no. More Gen Z people are for, you know, socialism. Or at least being sock dims or um, dim socks. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Uh, two years from now, Joe Biden in the White House, the Senate up for grabs. The Democrats cre create their first opportunity in more than a decade to do something big. Deliver major legislation to expand health care, protect voting rights, defend the environment, or implement humane immigration policy. They do any of that, they're fucked. So, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. Wait, let's 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 doubt that back. Opportunity in more than a decade to do something big. Deliver major legislation to expand health care, protect voting rights, defend the environment, or implement humane immigration policy. They do any of that, they're fucked. So he is saying that one, defend voter right. Uh yeah, of course. Of course they did. Defend defend voter rights. Expand health care. Create a humane immigration policy that's a bad thing who wouldn't want that who wouldn't want more people to legally migrate to the u.s where they don't have under the table they don't have to work under the table where they don't force down our wages who wouldn't want more people to have health care who wouldn't want their children to inherit a habitable, habitable earth. How does that fuck them over in the end? Well, 
let's continue. Obama did Obamacare in his first year. And what happened in the first midterm? The Democrats were destroyed. What was it? A 60, 70 seat flip in the House? And if they'd have run anybody but Mitt Romney, who has the charisma of a sack of potatoes, Obama might have been a one-termer. Like your boy Trump. Like your boy Trump. I I don't get this whole idea that people are just want to be just objectively, you know, sadistic to other people. I don't get this idea. Is owning the libs that motherfucking does that make you feel so fucking good that you oh yeah, oh god, oh we get to own the fucking libs by hurting other people and in, including ourselves. The fuck? So much so that Obama would have been a one term president? Hmm. I know I know it was a bit of a toss up in two thousand twelve, but when fucking Sandy hit New York and it was a show of fucking kindness. Guess what, what? Guess what? Barack Obama did. He won a second term. But let's continue. Again, I don't know how it would have played out if it had been Donald Trump versus Obama. I really don't. But he went with Mitt Romney. Is he really thinking that Donald Trump could have beat Barack Obama? The same Barack Obama that embarrassed Donald Trump at that, that White House Correspondents' Dinner to the point where he was just like, no, nah, motherfucker, don't step in my, my domain. Is that, is that what Dave... Oh, oh, Dave, 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 you forget, man. You forget what happened. Obama just... Oh, God, he... Oh, like, oh, when you think back and look at it, oh, God, like, oh, shit. That fucking felt good. And Trump was just pissed. But let's continue. Let's get. I'm getting so sidetracked today. For Christ's sakes, <laughs> why'd we lose in 20? Oh God, what was it? 2012. You ran Mitt Romney. Um. Anyway, uh, opportunity to lay ahead, but emphasize that to capitalize on it, the party must renew its efforts to connect with voters all year long at a local level, and not be afraid of progressive messaging, especially on economic issue. The problem is, is that. All I have, all they have to do to rebut it is have the Republican go, "Hey, they're gonna, they're, they're planning to do this. This is what it'll cost you in taxes," and Republicans instantly win. Americans do not want to pay for it. They like the idea of Medicare for all. They just don't want to pay for it. Um. So, at that point, Dave, and here's the thing: what a lot of the progressives are actually saying, maybe. Maybe, maybe the Democrats, when they're attacked, they should fight back. Like I'm doing with this video. Fucking piece of shit. Let's go. Um, so blah, blah, blah. Wait, 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 wait. He's not going to read that. Locally, you can do more, says David. David Pepper. Wow. Dr. David Pepper. Um the outgoing state chair of the Democratic Party of Ohio, you can win and make progress despite the national conversation. It's a different type of politics. And what the Koch brothers did for decades before we caught up. So he's skipping this when literally the whole principle behind the Justice Dems, behind, uh, behind the movements of so many progressive parties is to fight at the local level and then move it up to the the national level but he's not going to read that is he the entire democratic party sensed opportunity in See? 2020 with trump having alienated a significant share of moderate voters democrats running high single digits ahead of republicans on the generic ballot control of congress and the white house seemed tantalizingly close the problem is they didn't flip a single state legislature and they lost everywhere else. This election was not Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. This election was Donald Trump versus Donald Trump. Georgia has something to say about that. I'm just saying Georgia has something to say about that. 
when the dust settled, um, none of the eight state houses targeted by Democrats produced a win. Control of the Senate hung on thin hopes of winning two runoff races in Georgia. Democrats lost 11 seats in Congress. Uh, yeah, I, I believe it might be up to 12 now. Um, and I get, anyway, with candidates swamped by Trump voters, but also not helped by Biden at the top of the ticket. Democrat primary voters picked Biden in part on the theory he was the most capable of beating Trump. Democrat disagree on whether Biden's success in districts where other Democrats lost meant the party seemed to go too far left. It did. No, it didn't go far left enough. It literally fought. It didn't fight shit. That's the problem with the Democratic Party. And I will say this. They are stuck on the, well, I'm Republican light. So you're right, Dave. You're right. The Democrats are shit. Because they don't make their case. But let's let this motherfucker keep going. Bernie Sanders was never going to win. And if he did somehow get the nomination, like Kyle Kalinske said, even though he was only going for 30% of the vote, but let's say he gets it, he would have been crushed by Trump. Decimated by Trump. All Trump would have had to do is, how do you pay for this? How do you pay for that? How do you pay for this? The same way we pay for endless wars, tax cuts for the rich, and tax cuts for corporations. That's the same way, you know. You know, hey, fuck it. Spin like a fucking Republican, Democrats. Start doing shit like a Republicans. Oh wait, the squad has gotten that motherfucking rule, rule removed. Oh wait, oh poor poor Jimmy Dore. Oh, because they voted for Nancy Pelosi, they get they have the the the. That that rule removed. Blah, rule removed. Oh, fuck, fuck. Target Jimmy later. I'm sorry. This is this is Dave. Instead of blaming the progressives for the down ballot failures, we should listen to them more. No, you shouldn't. If you'd like to win. Why, Dave? Please tell us why. I think progressives in the party do a better job talking basic economics and talking the way people relate to Brad Bannon of the a, some Washington-based Democratic strategy firm. No, they don't. Then when Americans get their tax bill, they hate it. The only reason AOC is the face is she's hot for a congresswoman. In the real world, AOC is maybe a six. Eh, I've had a couple of beers. I'll go six and a half. She wouldn't fucking touch you with a 10-foot pole. Like, this is his thing. Like, he's done this shit before. When he's rating women based on how hot they are, and then he's like, if I had a couple beers, I guarantee you, if AOC walked down the street and says, Dave, ooh, that, that, that misogyny turns me on, and the incorrect time on all the clocks in your background, ooh, that just gets me wet. I, I guarantee you, he he will be naked as soon as she finishes the word. And then he had to cover himself because he just exclude it's it's ah, exudes small dick energy. But you know, fuck. I I just I I I I, I just can't do games right now. Like, so, like 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 I, I just don't get his whole brand of like you know how he feels that he is just fucking awesome. Like I, I don't get it. Maybe maybe he is awesome in his own eyes. But like he complains like I know like I, I've watched a few of his videos and I don't see his personal life but like he seems like a lonely motherfucker. I I I just think he seems like a lonely motherfucker who I I don't see women falling all over themselves for him. Huh. <sighs>